The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, excuse me, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shane, let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Dent is a sick man. He needs to be stopped before he hurts anyone else. Oh, maybe you can get him some therapy. After you stop him tearing the city apart. Come on. The Commissioner's still down there. Ugh. Sure you're up for this? I have to be. Follow my lead. In the lobby, the commissioner. They can't hold out much longer. Commissioner, is he? God damn it! No. Not you two. He died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this. This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. 
Rogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got... hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says... He says... Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there! Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I'll draw his focus from the hostages. Their lives are the priority. Just remember, your life is important too. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Now, I want to save for Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. The fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. I... I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election, or next? We'll let the coin decide. Hmm. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. I throw you in Arkham. Burn down your home! Please, Harvey! Let these people go! Oh, you really think it'll be that easy? You're dumber than you look, Bruce. Maybe you'll look smarter with a bullet in your face! Listen to yourself! This isn't you. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but... I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selina. This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! <laughs> terrorists! And cops who don't take their mayor's oh. orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away. 
I would let them all go, but... It's not up to me. <laughs> Deborah, my not-so-faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear I... Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. You're weak, Harvey. Letting a coin make your decisions. It's not weakness, Wayne. It's strength. To accept there's something bigger than me. Bigger than any of us. Unfortunate. I don't think so. Bruce, I don't I don't know what to do. I can't decide. It's too much. Oh, it's too much, too much. I can't. A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Wherever they put me, whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Nowhere is safe. You're gonna die. I'm gonna get you help, Harvey. We will get you better. I am better, Wayne. I'm the best I've ever been. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Mr. Wayne, I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, and I'm going to make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn.
your usual tea and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here, and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald was... <laughs> was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it... Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. <sighs> oh, 
Coswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... sociology? And my medical records. There are some... well, but... colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Ah, <laughs> that's better. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear, not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums, all to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD Headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. She stole from you? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. 
With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. I trusted you. And you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Enough games, Selina. Hand it over. Now! <sighs> you just have no imagination, do you? Catch. It's clear you're not gonna be any fun, and I'm not in the mood for a fight. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. From the moment we met, I knew I couldn't trust you. And yet, you did. Or we wouldn't be here right now. But I can see the magic's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Harvey was out of control and he wanted to destroy Gotham, if you did the same. And yes, I'd put you behind bars in a heartbeat. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. Well, you're not really leaving me with much of a choice. <laughs> oh, please. You weren't even trying to see things from my perspective. You're stuck in your close-minded, one-town world. I need you to understand something. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? 
I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Anyway. Well, it's been fun. You stay out of trouble. So if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. I look forward to our next dance. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I- Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but- Alfred? Alfred! <laughs>